is old, but okay. So here's like a little thing, like a little ditty, right? Here's Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, fist bumping, right? Lindsey Graham. I know it's weird. You might be thinking, right? Okay. The Democrat president, Lindsey Graham, right? Who is publicly saying that Donald Trump has won the election and that the Democrats cheated, right? Okay, so let me let me understand let me understand this, okay? So, the Democrats stole the election. Now, they didn't steal the Senate for some reason. They didn't steal the House for another reason, I'm not sure, but they stole the presidency somehow, I guess, right? And that's what Lindsey Graham's argumentation is. So, what do you do when you are convinced that the opposing side has has stolen the presidency? Well, you go to the floor of the Senate and fist bump the person that stole the presidency, right? Right? Like, that's what you do, obviously. So, again, this is more like damnation on Kamala Harris than it is on Lindsey Graham. But, like, look, that back pat, like, that's just weird. This is weird stuff. This is really weird stuff. And, you know, again, you can't really read much of this. Um, other than the idea that it's cringe. It's cringe. The vice president-elect is making buddy-buddy on national television, right? On C-SPAN, right? Like, with someone who's right hand to the president and trying to steal the election. It's bizarre. It's bizarre, dude. It's really strange stuff, right? And again, this goes back to the whole thing. Both parties are bought and paid for by corporations. We know that. We've known that for a long time, right? But again, it also goes to show that it's all kabuki theater. None of this stuff is real. When Lindsey Graham goes up there and says that Kamala Harris is, you know, evil and stole the election, that doesn't mean anything. All he's doing is speaking to the base of the Republican Party. That's all that matters. It's double speak. One thing for the base, the other thing for my colleagues. That's what it's all about, right? It's all a game show. Like, dude, Donald Trump is fucking president. Like, have you not, like, seen anything on television for the last 20 years? The guy's a game show host, right? Like, we're going to wake up on January 21st, right? And then it's going to be like, wait, I thought it was January 21st, 2021. It's actually going to be 2017. We've all been in a simulation for the last four years just to see what would happen, right, if Donald Trump, a game show host, became president. But, like, no, for real, though, like, we need to get rid of all these people. Congress the executive branch, they're all corporate goons and gangsters, right? They're holding us hostage. President Biden is not going to change much, if anything. Now, is he going to slow the bleeding, right? Maybe. But is he going to fundamentally change the structures of power that are impacting the poor and working class in this country? Fuck no. Fuck no. And that's why, as a communist, as an anarchist, a core ideological principle of mine for organizing is you should always push to the left. There is not a single politician in the United States, in United States history, or that has a decent standing of running for office in the United States that I agree with on 100% of issues. AOC, we agree with maybe like 60%, right? I wish you were an anarchist. You know, that would be cool, but she's not, right? Now, maybe I should run for Congress. Who knows, right? But at the same time, my point is you should always push to the left. Everybody, push Lindsey Graham to the left, push Kamala Harris to the left. And when I say push them to the left, I mean knock them on the floor and steal their fucking seat because it's not about them personally. It's about the power that they represent. And if you just get rid of all of these fuckers, right? I like the idea of Justice Democrats going in there, picking off the House leadership. That's pretty cool. If you just get rid of all these fuckers, it'll make things a hell of a lot easier for the working poor in this country. That goes to the Democrats. That goes to the Republicans. Get rid of them. Get them out of here. We don't need them. They're garbage. And uh, this little piece of film, four seconds. That's all it takes. Four seconds. And you exemplify everything that's wrong with government. It's really interesting stuff.